I need to find a place so you can see the full length of all these dresses. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know my most common question is where do I get my dresses? So let's get into it. Okay, so these first three dresses are from a brand called Mila. They are based in the Ukraine. They hand make every single dress. And I would say they specialize in that like fairy tale, whimsical, like running through a forest, fairy style dress. Of the dresses I have, I probably get the most questions about these because they are just that good. I'm gonna link all the dresses below so you can find them if you're interested. But this purple dress is actually amazing because you can take this part off and now it's just a strapless dress. Mila is really great about their corsets. I feel like their boning is extremely structured. Like it just hits just right where it needs to. It's comfortable, it keeps the girls in. Size wise, this is a small. I have another dress that's in an extra small, but I would say that small is definitely my preferred size. So this is the dress I have that's an extra small. As you can see, again, it has the beautiful corset, the tulle skirt. All of their dresses are obviously layered, but then underneath they have like a very thick, let me see if you can see this. It's super thick, like nothing is showing through that. Purple dress is floor length, and then this blue dress is T length, so it really only comes to like right above my ankles, calves, shin area. This is the third dress I have from Mila. This is also a size small. This is probably my favorite dress in my collection. The fabric is so gorgeous. I mean, obviously the pattern, but like, I don't know if you can tell just how thick. I wore this dress to a wedding in New York City, literally took it on the subway, like through the disgusting streets of New York, and it held up amazingly. The quality, unmatched. One of the things I love about this dress is you can wear the sleeves up like this, you can wear them off your shoulders if you want. You can just tie the ties so that they fit however you'd like it to fit. The corset, again, boning is incredible, super comfortable, keeps everything held in nicely, which we love. I honestly would be hard pressed to find a dress that I love more than this because it's just so beautiful. This dress is actually the very first dress I ever bought myself and I remember spending $200 on it thinking like, this is so insane, what are you doing? So this is from ASOS, same with this blue low, low, low back dress. This also I would say is amazing if you are looking for something that's on the cheaper end, I know it's still not cheap, but on the cheaper end and still amazing quality because I don't know if you can tell, this is all embroidered. Like every detail on this dress is embroidered. It's amazing and it's so sturdy. I've worn this to weddings before as well. Always get a ton of compliments. It's just kind of like the perfect winter wedding dress slash just dress in general. Um, this one, I will say, is a little more scandalous. There's a lot going on on the side boob and in the back as well. So they have some sexier options too. They also just sell regular clothes if you're looking for that. I have two dresses from a brand called Ava Gowns and I have mixed feelings about this brand because they are extremely size inclusive. It's a small business, which I love to support. However, the sizing, I. I think you can tell, it's a little big. These are supposed to be on the shoulder. It is so tight, like there is just no way I could keep them up there. But then it's big if it's off the shoulder, so I'm confused how I'm supposed to wear this. This one I probably wouldn't really wear out anywhere, but it's still fun to like play dress up in. Here is the other Ava gown. This one, as you can see, I just think fits way better. Love the flower detailing. The tool is a lot softer actually than the purple dress, which. I obviously prefer. I definitely reach for this dress way more than I reach for the purple one if I'm gonna wear Ava's gowns. Okay, I have three dresses from this brand called JJ's House, and I would say this is a brand you should search for if you are looking for cheap alternatives. You might have seen this dress in my last video. This dress is from Selkie, so is this dress. Selkie is a brand that I have very mixed feelings about because I do love their styles, I love their patterns, I love that you can wear their sleeves off the shoulder like this if you want, or on the shoulder. However, I feel like their pricing has gotten out of control. Like, this dress is normally $320. Now, I bought both of my dresses on their Black Friday sales. This one's from this year, this one is from last year, so sadly, they do not make this anymore. But I think their Black Friday sales, like, then it's worth it. But when they're full price, it's a bit crazy to me because you're just getting, I'm pretty sure this is just polyester. I don't think this is any sort of luxury fabric. So for me, if I'm paying $500 for a dress, which is how much a lot of their dresses cost, like 
I want to be having the most luxurious gown experience. I know some people are like diehard Selkie fans and I do love their styles and their patterns. Like this is one of my favorite dresses to wear and I do really love this dress and I'm looking forward to wearing it. But I just have such a hard time. Like some of the dresses I own that are also $500 to me are just such better quality. I don't know. I go back and forth. It's tough. I have built up this collection over years. Years. Because they're so expensive and you need to save up money and you shouldn't just buy 17 dresses that cost that much money overnight. That would be insane. So JJ's house is a really good alternative. If you want to have something whimsical and fun or like a prom dress style dress, they do a ton of those. Um, I will say, of course, if you're buying cheaper dresses, the quality is always not going to be quite as good. But just want to call it out. Don't be disappointed, you're not gonna get Mila quality for JJ House prices. Okay, here's what the second JJ's House dress looks like. It's pretty standard. And the last, but certainly not least, of the JJ's House dresses. Honestly, this one might be my favorite. The last brand I'm gonna talk about is Beholden, which if you don't know, is Anthropology's wedding dress brand. They make some of the most beautiful dresses I've ever seen. I sadly only own this one dress. Would love to have more of their dresses in my collection one day. They're very expensive. I have to wait for them to go on sale. And usually when they go on sale, so many people want them that the sizes get sold out. So you kind of have to wait and watch and hope that you get your hands on something. When I first bought this dress, I was a little sad because I don't know if you can see, it hits right at my ankles. And I typically prefer a gown that goes all the way to the floor, like sweeps the floor. But now that I've worn it out a few times and I've worn dresses that are sweeping the floor out a few times, this is so practical. Like having a dress that I'm not worried people are stepping on is amazing. And it makes me reach for this dress more than I would reach for some other dresses. So just something to keep in mind if you're looking at dress lengths and thinking like, oh, I want it to be longer. It's actually pretty nice to have a dress that hits just at your ankles. I'm wearing a size four. I wish I had gotten the two. I have it pinned on the side, but it's great because like you truly cannot tell. And that was a free solution. The bow detailing is really beautiful. This one's just a zip up, so pretty simple to wear. I was just editing this and realized I somehow did not talk about this dress. This is probably one of the dresses I get asked about the most. This dress is from Mac Dougal. It is stunning. It has beautiful ruffle sleeve details, an open back. I love everything about this dress. The fabric, the color, the way it lays, the silhouette. It's all just so beautiful. I will say this fabric is super thin and delicate. Like you can, it's see-through. You can see me through this. So when I wore this to a wedding once, the hem got completely ripped to shreds. Like it does not take much to rip the fabric. Even when I first got this dress and I was just wearing it around my house, if I stepped on it too hard, I would hear like the small tear of terror. And uh, yeah, so just be aware that, you know, it's very delicate, super delicate fabric, but I think the construction, the boning, like everything else seems great. I always just get so many compliments on this dress, so. I do love her. Obviously, I don't run around in ball gowns all day, contrary to popular belief and what it may look like on my social media. But let me know what you guys want to see, and thanks for tuning in.